Hey everybody, uh, it's me Cole. I'm I'm playing a little Sonic 2, and uh, because I play my my video games with a nice little added challenge, what we're gonna do today is something really special, and this is um, this is gonna be an episode for the ladies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Sonic a little bit of Sonic 2 with a little extra added challenge. Here we go. Sega! I apologize for that. This is, uh... This is a, um... This is, uh... No! Stop it! God fucking, I thought I configured you. Okay, this is, uh, this is, um, it's exactly what you'd expect, uh, out of Sonic 2. I think we're gonna play as, um, Amy alone. So, to raise awareness about breast cancer, I'm playing this game today, is Amy. Uh, she's got some special moves. I think you have to press like the A button or some some stuff. I, I don't know. Ugh. God, fucking monkey! All right. She's got the spin dash move. That's pretty good. Um, can't go up hills though. Most women can't in real life, but that's why we're playing this. We're trying to raise awareness about women with breast cancer who can't go up hills. Okay, if you press down in A, you do a super jump. And if you press down in B, you do some other shit. Uh, I think all my buttons on my gamepad are set to jump right now, but that's okay. Now, because I like to have added challenges on my LP channel... Uh, I'm trying to, or I'm hoping to, get every single Chaos Emerald as well while I play this, uh, run of, uh, I find, need to find a lamppost. If I'm gonna get every Chaos Emerald, we're doing this right. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, no. We're okay, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Uh... Yeah, we're fine. We're no fuck. Okay. God damn it! What the hell did I just? Oh wow! She has this weird ass spin dash running jumpy move. I think I'm gonna spam that until I get sick of it. Oh yeah, that secret area. With Amy, you can just kind of jump up there. Cause it's kind of like there we go. Okay. Platform. She fucking curtsy. She doesn't crouch. She curtsies. All right, it's okay. Fucking this monkey. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Cast emerald number one. Here we go. All right. I don't know. This ROM hack seems pretty legit. I, they totally didn't reskin Sonic with a skirt on. All right, here we go. Getting the Chaos Emeralds as a kid, like, I was the best at it, but my little brother always played as Tails. And he'd fuck everything up. He'd be, like, running into the bombs, and I'd collect all the rings, and I'd have more than enough rings, but he'd run into the bombs anyways, and we'd lose so many points because of it. Like, those bombs right there, so easy to dodge, and he'd just hit, manage to hit both of them. But it's okay. I love my little brother, but in a platonic way. Alright, here we go. 130 rings, we're already mostly there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Bring it on. I've only got like a couple left. Only like 12 left. 9, 4, 3. Alright, that's it. That's it. That's the emerald. There we go. This is going to be a walk in the park. The 
this reminds me of uh, of a story though, because um, I mean in my line of work you see a lot of hedgehogs. You see a lot of hedgehogs who are uh, just fixated on on rings. And uh, I used to work for a pet store for a while. And uh, the manager came back one day. And he noticed that I wasn't doing my job very well, just like every other day. I just, you know, I just didn't really care. And uh, he, he comes back there, and he sees that the guinea pigs are just basically, they're swimming in a pile of their own shit. Because I was supposed to, let me back up here, I mean, I was supposed to clean the cages for this pet store. And uh, I didn't do that very well, because, I mean, who wants to touch animal shit? I mean... Some people willingly do, that's why there's old ladies with lots of cats. And, um, to be honest, I think the reason why they have so many cats is because they love poop. I wouldn't be surprised, to be really honest with you. But that's besides the point, it's either, neither here nor there. Um, when I had to clean these guinea pigs' cages up, there was so much filth in them that I, didn't, I, didn't, I really did not know what to do. And so... I thought it would be a good idea just, you know, to take the cage uh, to the, the sink and wash the whole thing out at the sink. Because, I mean, the guinea pigs, they wouldn't care. They probably would have enjoyed the bath. And they did at first. I took them to the sink and, and ran a, the water on medium, medium warmth. And they were having fun, swimming in their own bedding and their own shit for a little while. But after a while... I mean, the mom guinea pig grabbed onto her, her two kids, and they were reenacting this scene from Titanic, where the um, rich old lady gives all her money to the kids, and uh, I realized at that point in time that uh, that I had guinea pigs who were not only intelligent, but were capable of, of looking like Leonardo DiCaprio. So I stole the guinea pigs from the store later that day, after I rescued them from the water in the iceberg that was on um, medium warmth water, and and took them to a talent agency in Hollywood. And so I get down there, and oh, fuck! I get down there to Hollywood, because you know I hop on this plane, and, and I take the guinea pigs down there, and they were just, they had reenacted the entire movie on the way. It's probably the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. I laughed, I cried, I, I just, I don't know. They canceled the in-flight movie so that they could show my guinea pigs, you know? And I'm, we're all watching them on the plane, and we're like, yeah, they're gonna make it. They're gonna make it to the big time. These guinea pigs have got the talent. They've got the drive and the motivation and the heart. And that's all you need to be a fucking wonder. Oh, shit, I should get that emerald again. Before I face Robotnik. Uh, it's hard to see the rings on this stage because Amy blends into it really well. Uh, where was I though? But yeah, we're in first class because, I mean, for these guinea pigs, I couldn't afford anything less because they needed it. If they were going to go to Hollywood, California, they were going in style and I would foot the bill for them. I mean, they couldn't talk. They didn't tell me that, but I could see it in their eyes with their acting skills. Their emotions were just so fucking perfect. And we're on the plane, and like I said, they canceled the in-flight movie just so they could all watch the guinea pigs. And, and as soon as I got off the plane, this talent agent, Rob McLanley, he comes up to me and he says, Man, those guinea pigs, they're going to go places, and you are one lucky man for having, having such great pets. I mean... Have you named them yet? Because they're going to need awesome names. And so I said to him, I'm like, no, I mean, I stole these from a pet store that I worked at, and I'm probably fired by now. I mean, I've been in, on the way to California for the past three weeks, and there's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to, you know, keep my job when I'm flying out here to Hollywood. And he's like, you got to come up with some names, man. These guinea pigs, they need names. They need names for their talent. It was an entire family. I forgot to tell you, this story goes way back because there was a mom guinea pig and a dad guinea pig, and they had two sons. Um, 
and one of the sons was the daughter. But um, this family of guinea pigs was just amazing. It was incredible that I hadn't given them names yet because I had had them, you know, for a couple couple weeks, almost a month now, you know, that I hadn't named them yet. I, I mean, what what the hell was I supposed to do? They're probably just a little bit scared that they don't have a real st stable parental unit. But I decided right then and there, I'm like, you know, you know, Rob, I gotta name these guys. You're right, absolutely. And so I named the dad after John Paul Jones. I named him, uh, I named him John Paul Jones. And I named the mom Pamela Anderson after Baywatch. And I named the son David after David Hasselhoff from Baywatch. And I named the son with the vagina. I named him. Um, pecker head because he wished he had a pecker in his head so I figured that would help that would help his self-esteem he really wanted to be a boy and when we got to Hollywood he got cast you know he got cast as a boy they, they weren't sure of his gender and I, I said you know that's fine we live in the 21st century we got to be able to cast these guinea pigs into whatever role they identify with we have to take all of these uh, we have to take all of our, um, fucking, you know, gender orientation, we gotta take that into account, because it applies not just to humans, but it applies to everyone. Everybody has the same rights, whether they be man, woman, or, or guinea pig, or male guinea pig trapped in a female guinea pig's body. And so, Peckerhead, he got... He got cast in this movie with, and, and this is a true story, he got cast in this movie with uh, Tom Cruise, and um, in the script, the director, uh, the director asked him to kiss Tom Cruise, like, it was so weird, because it was a girl guinea pig, I mean, we all knew that from the beginning, and so the director had no problem with, a, like, a seven-hour makeout scene with Tom Cruise, and he thought that the guinea pig would go for it, but, I mean, Peckerhead, no, he didn't, I, he, he, he couldn't do it. He saw the script, and he was just like, no, I, it's not worth, it's not worth the, all the women, all the fame, it's not worth anything, because I am a male guinea pig. I'm just trapped in a female guinea pig's body. Anyways, I digress. I mean, that was the famous... This movie, I, I heard, was, was going to be great, too. Um, the makeout scene was supposed to last, like I said, for seven hours, but they were going to chop it down and edit it like they always do. Because the Hollywood directors, um, they make the makeout scenes last for a really long time, and then they just take the best parts. I don't know if you've noticed that from a lot of movies, but that's what happens. Fuck you fucking... Fuck, fuck shit, I, I fucking hate... Whatever. That's okay. Amy will get over it. Um, but no, like I said, um, I can't remember where was I. Yeah, no. When they do makeout scenes in Hollywood, and I, I've been an actor, I've been a theatrical actor now, professionally, and I can attest to this. This is what they do. They have you make out on stage, or you know, in the script for for upwards of, of at least five or six hours. It's standard. It's very much standard. And Tom Cruise was willing to go all the way if he had to with my guinea pig. And God bless him, he he just didn't understand the situation. Uh, he didn't understand that my guinea pig was a transsexual. And, I mean, I understand that. It's difficult to, to know, really, who is a transsexual in our society? It's difficult. We, we were raised with a set of standards that's different than today's standards. And fuck, I hate this part. God damn it. I did this all wrong. No, Amy, no. No, Amy, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're not doing this right, Amy. There we go. This is... Just bear with me. I mean, I'm trying my best to tell this story and get out of a life and death situation here. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, hell no.